walking. A highly coordinated series of falls that we've taken for granted since we were toddlers. Requires no fewer than 200 skeletal muscles. Back muscles to keep you from falling forward. Abdominal muscles to keep you from falling back. It takes 40 or so muscles just to raise one leg and move it forward. Okay, We're so simply long. making dinner plans and picking up groceries. The whole thing would be absolutely useless without an infrastructure. As our day pushes on, these skeletal muscles lift us through it, usually without our thinking about it. Without them, we couldn't run or blink, smile, or speak for that matter. Hello? Just muttering a single Hello? word. Hello? 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 Involves muscles in the face, lips, tongue, jaw, larynx. As many as a hundred muscles. And now, using pneumatic technologies, we are able to recreate these unique and awe-inspiring tissues almost perfectly. These air muscles as they are called, are incredibly strong, consisting of only latex tubing encased in a nylon mesh sleeve, and powered by compressed air, they have extraordinary size to weight ratios and can match if not surpass our own natural muscle power. They are incredibly lightweight and flexible and therefore have great potential in the future of robotics and many other areas. They can move robotic limbs with extreme precision and could give robots a new level of mobility. They allow us to create animatronic creatures with new levels of realism, possibly even the transportation of tomorrow, or perhaps even creating a real robotic maid and handyman. Even the gaming systems of tomorrow could be powered by muscles. But probably the most useful of all of these, new prosthetic limbs for the immobile and handicapped. But whatever the case, as technology keeps progressing, getting smaller, stronger, and faster, the gap between humans and robots is slowly closing and soon enough, that gap will disappear. <laughs>